Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. You taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Batman school, Big Brando, let's go! Satin everybody, boy Big Brando, and today let's talk about gang sheets. Now, this has been a common question that I've been getting a lot of ever since Supercolor announced their gang sheets. And the question is, how do I set up the gang sheet? Do I just send them all my individual designs and they put it on a sheet for me? Do they have a template I could go based off of? How do you do it? What software do you use? So I want to answer all of those questions in one video. I'm going to show you guys on the computer screen exactly how I set up my gang sheets. Supercolor does offer a template that you can kind of drop all your designs into. I don't use that. What I do is I set up my artboard or my page as 11.7 by 16.5 and then I put all my designs on there within Photoshop or Illustrator and then send them that file. That way I know exactly what size every design is going to be because I'm setting the size for it and then I'm sending them a print ready file. So the way that I set up my artboard or my page is exactly what's going to get printed out. Now another thing is a lot of people feel that they need their designs to be at a certain set size and that's not always the case. For example, some people might say, all right, I need my design on the back to be 12 inches across. And the gang sheet is 11.7 by 16 and a half. You have options of spinning that design and doing a full 12 inches going down because you have 16 and a half inches to play with or shrink that design down to 11.7. That extra 0.3 is not gonna make a huge difference. So on the ruler, this right here, that's the 0.3. From there to there would be the 0.3 that you're missing out on of that design. So a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch is all you're gonna be missing out on. It's easy to shrink that down and still have the same effect that the 11.7 or the 12 inches would get you. So remember, if you are set on the size has to be 12 inches, are you really gonna miss that quarter of an inch or 0.3 of an inch on that design? I'm not saying cut it off, I'm just saying scale it down. By scaling it down, it doesn't make that big of a visual difference. So a lot of people feel, oh man, my design's 12 inches. Why isn't the gang sheet 12 inches wide? That 0.3 doesn't make a huge, huge difference. If you're going for a full 12 inches, if you scaled it down, a lot of my designs, I'll scale down to fit that 11.7. Nobody knows the difference. Visually, you can't really tell unless you're busting out a ruler on every single t-shirt that somebody's wearing to say, let me make sure that that's 12 inches across. So remember, when you're doing this, don't don't feel constrained to those sizes. You can be very flexible with it. And to me, a quarter of an inch, 0.3, eighth of an inch, 16 of an inch, doesn't make that big of a difference visually. If we're talking 12 inches to eight inches, yeah, there's gonna be a big difference if you're missing those four inches. But when we're talking very, very small, small increment, like a quarter of an inch, visually, you really can't tell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera around put it on the computer and show you exactly how I set up a gang sheet. We'll just use some rough designs that I create on the fly at random sizes of stuff that I would usually do and then show you how I set up the gang sheet, save the file so I could send it off to Supercolor. All right, so here we go. We got a bunch of different designs right here that were created. This one right here is six by six. This one right here is about 12 inches wide by four. It's usually what I would do for like a back design sometimes. This is a standard front chest print, usually eight inches across by four inches. Something I would usually do, this would be like a neck tag. So this one right here is, I think a two inch by two inch square. And then this is a left chest print. And I think we did this one at four inches by three inches or so. So if we wanted to put all of these on a gang sheet, this is what you would do. Come up here to new, we're in Photoshop right now. Go to new, and then you would set your width to 11.7 and your height to 16.5. Or you could do it backwards. You could do the width at 16.5 and the height at 11.7, whatever you want to do, whatever the orientation you wanted to be in for the sake of this video, this is what we're doing. Width 11.7, height 16.5. These are the dimensions for a super color gang sheet. Next thing you want to do is make sure the resolution is at 300 
and then color mode is set to CMYK. Make sure it's CMYK because that's the process that they're printing in. You don't want it to be RGB, you want it to be CMYK. Next thing, background, you want it to be transparent. You don't want it to be white or black because if it's white or black, it's gonna print white or black. You want it to be transparent. Then you select create. Now here is our artboard. This is our page, this is the gang sheet. So what we're gonna do is start dragging all of these designs over. So like I said, this one was set up to 12 inches, I think. So we'll bring this one over, set it in here. Bingo. First design is on there. Like I said, this is 11.7, I think, or 12, and we shrunk it down to 11.7. So you're not gonna miss that 0.3 like I was talking about, but we have the first one in. This next one right here is I think a little under six inches as a circle. We'll bring this one over, pop it in there. And then we could actually fit another one of those on there. So we'll do two. So now we have two of these. So here's a big back design. Here's a front design. Here's another front design. And then this is a left chest print. Pop that in there. So this right here is the left chest print for this back design right here. So this one and this one will go on one t-shirt. This will go on one t-shirt. This will go on one t-shirt. Here's the next front print. And all I'm doing is just clicking it and dragging it. I'm holding it and dragging it to the gang sheet layer. And so now we have this front design, this left chest print design, this back design, this front design and this front design. So that's one shirt, two shirts, three, four. Now we have all that extra room on the bottom. Why not fill it up with a few of these? And these are just regular standard neck labels. Say if you had a bunch of different sizes that you wanted to run, just keep dropping them in here let's see how many we could fit on this thing like i said i'm just clicking dragging bringing it to the page clicking dragging bringing it to the page i know all of these say double xl but if you had small medium large extra large whatever you wanted to offer you would put that in, but we're just doing samples. So we actually fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now imagine that these were small, medium, large, extra large, double X, triple X, and let's say another double X on here. You would gang them all up. And then all you have to do is when you get them in, you just cut them out. Standard scissors, if you have a paper slicer, whatever you wanted to do. But now we set up a full gang sheet here. So we have, this up here, one design for the back. That right there is gonna be the front left chest print. This is a different t-shirt for a front print. This is another different t-shirt for another front print. This right here is a front print also, and then you have all of these neck labels on here. You could still fit some stuff in here, still fit some stuff in here if you really wanted to, but this is the standard way of setting up a gang sheet. This is how I do it. And all I would do is just save this whole sheet right here, call it Super Color Gang Sheet or whatever you wanted to title it, and then that's what you send to Super Color. So if we just decided to save this, we could say save. We'll save it to the desktop just for now. It's a PSD file. And we'll say Super Gang Test. Whatever you wanted to call it, you call it that save now when you save this that's the exact file that you're going to upload to super color site when you order your gang sheets i do not use anything like i don't use their template i don't send them designs i send them this one sheet right here and that's it so like i said this is set up to 11.7 by 16 and a half and then we have one design two three four five and then we have all seven of these neck labels on one sheet 
you're paying this one sheet cost for everything on here. Obviously, this is multicolor, this is multicolor, this is multicolor. These neck labels are actually multicolor. This is the easiest way to do it if you wanted to send a gang sheet to Supercolor. Hopefully this helps out anybody that's looking into getting into doing gang sheets and sending stuff to Supercolor. This was all done in Photoshop. They accept Photoshop files. They don't just accept only Illustrator. If you are sending a Photoshop file, like I said, make sure it's 300 DPI set up for CMYK and you have a transparent background. Rewatch this video so you can see exactly how to set this up and then how to send this to Supercolor. All right, there you have it. So if you had questions about setting up a gang sheet, we'll do a little recap. I use Photoshop, I use Illustrator. For the sake of the video, I used Photoshop because I know a lot of people out there have Photoshop and don't have Illustrator. When you're setting up your Photoshop page, you want it to be in CMYK and you want it to be at 300 or 350 DPI nothing below 300 dpi so always remember to check that it's set up as cmyk and make sure that it's set up as a transparent background and you're at above 300 dpi nothing below that now if you wanted to order your own gang sheets make sure you check out the link in the description box that'll help you out direct link to order supercolor transfers or hit up supercolor directly place your order order up your gang sheets now if you have any other questions make sure you leave it in the comments follow me on instagram big brando tv catch you guys on the next one man yeah